I'm Carrie Robinson, and I have the exquisite privilege of serving as the President and CEO of Catholic Charities USA. I was born to a family that now has an 80-year history of serving the Catholic Church at the local, diocesan, regional, national, and international level through the instrument of a private philanthropic foundation. 80 years ago, my great-grandparents, John and Helena Raskob, founded the Raskob Foundation with two intentions. They wanted all of their resources to be used exclusively to support the church anywhere in the world, and they wanted their children and descendants to be invited to serve as volunteers in this work, beginning when we are teenagers. My earliest childhood heroes and heroines were women and men, ordained religious and lay, all over the world who were at the vanguard of human suffering and responded to that by alleviating human suffering, by providing food and shelter and safety. They advocated for those on the margins. They sowed the seeds of peace. They were diplomats. They advanced justice and human rights, all in the name of their faith. And I was captivated by that example and by that selflessness. I remember wanting to be like them. Truly, I feel as though my entire life has brought me to this moment, which is the definition of vocation. My childhood heroes and heroines, I see now as an adult in the form of everyone who works for and volunteers for Catholic charities across the country. I had a professor of theology and ethics who said, the moral life ought to make sense. Well, the moral life makes sense when I see all of the people across our country who work for and volunteer on behalf of Catholic charities. They are daily responding to the suffering of others, and particularly those who are experiencing deprivation at the worst moments of their life. What would our world, what would our church be like without such mercy? I am incredibly excited to work with colleagues at the national office who have breathtaking capability and skill, who are dedicated and generous, and who have been at this work for a very long time. And it is such a blessing in turn for us collectively to represent and serve the staff and the directors and the volunteers of our member agencies in every corner of the United States. People on the front lines of providing relief, providing food, advancing human rights, providing safe shelter, sowing the seeds of peace, caring for our common home and one another, they deserve our support. And it is an honor and a blessing of a lifetime to be invited to serve such heroes today.